If you're anything like me, you've probably seen a hundred new AI tools promising to turn your long videos and podcasts into short viral clips overnight. And honestly, you're probably equal parts curious and incredibly skeptical about the whole thing. I make long form videos and podcasts for a living. So I've been hunting for something that actually turns hours of content into ready to post shorts for TikTok shorts and reels. Crucially, I needed a solution that works without me having to babysit the entire process from start to finish. We have an in-house editor we normally use and we've even tried outsourcing repurposing before. The real question I wanted to answer was simple. Can an AI do this well enough to completely replace a human editor? Or at the very least, can it make their already busy job significantly easier? So I took on the boring part so you don't have to. I tested the top five platforms people keep talking about. I narrowed the focus to the top three contenders for a deeper dive. I ran the exact same 40 minute podcast through each of them for a fair baseline test. I compared them across four things I actually care about. Clip quality, available features, day-to-day -day usability, and the overall value proposition. I'll rank them, tell you my top pick for the best paid option, and name the best free option available right now. Finally, I'll give you my honest take on whether you should use AI to replace a human or just to speed one up. All right, let's start where I landed. Vizard was my initial top contender. After signing up and uploading the podcast, Bizarre processed the file pretty quickly. It then immediately spat out a set of potential short video snippets for me to review. Out of roughly 22 auto-generated clips, I found about six that were basically ready to publish straight away. This meant they had good start and stop points, decent context, and the captions perfectly matched the audio track. That's not a huge conversion rate, but it was the highest of all the tools I tested during this comparison. The clips it did find were genuinely useful for generating immediate short form content. The user interface gives each clip a quality score displayed right there in the corner of the preview window. I found those quality scores to be surprisingly accurate, as the high rated ones were consistently the very best clips. Where Vizard truly shines is within its powerful text-based editor. You edit entirely by interacting with the text. Just highlight the words in the transcript to trim, remove, or create a brand new clip. If you want to shift the start point back by just a second, you simply highlight and revert the selection. Want to cut out an unnecessary filler word or phrase? Just highlight that section and delete it instantly. This whole process feels fast, intuitive, and it keeps you deep in the flow of the content. It avoids forcing you to scrub through endless video timelines after video after video, which is a huge time saver. There are tons of templates and presets available for vertical, square, and different caption styles. You also get easy adjustments for headers, fonts, text alignment, and background treatments like subtle blurs. Brand asset management is treated as a first class feature here. You can upload a logo, apply a standardized outro to the end of every single clip, and Vizard ensures visual consistency across the board. The keyboard shortcuts feel polished, like space to play, pause, or control C to undo. And finally, the actual export process for the final clips is refreshingly straightforward. Pricing wise, Vizard wasn't the cheapest option at the time, coming in around $30 per month. However, if you commit to paying annually, that price point cuts in half significantly. Considering what you get, usable clips, an efficient editor, and great export options, I personally think it's a solid value. Compared to the cheaper tools I tested, Vizar provided fewer total clips, but a much higher percentage that were usable without heavy post-production editing. Next up is Opus Clip, which is one of the biggest names in the AI clipping space for a very good reason. The initial upload time for my file was quick, and it ultimately turned the podcast into about 28 different clips. I found five of those Opus Clips usable straight away, putting it in the same neighborhood as Vizard, but just slightly behind. The general user interface is perfectly fine, although I personally preferred Vizard's cleaner overall layout. Opus also displays quality scores, and I found them generally helpful for narrowing down which clips needed my immediate attention first. The editor follows a similar concept. Highlight text to make your edits, then save and export the result. Opus has some interesting features like automatic stock B-roll insertion, auto-applied emojis, and an auto intro caption capability. However, in practice, the suggested stock B-roll didn't feel very context aware for my specific content. It often added footage that wasn't relevant and unfortunately didn't really improve the overall context of the clip. The timeline editing functionality is a bit more limited, making more sophisticated edits tougher to implement. That said, Opus's price point, around $19 per month for professional style plans, is very compelling for a fast solution. I'd place Opus as a strong contender for users who prioritize sheer speed over needing fine-grained creative control. Now, let's talk about the best free option I discovered, which I'll call video.a for anonymity. This platform is definitely rough around the edges, but it's incredibly useful because it lets you export 720p clips completely free and without any watermarks. It produced a surprisingly high number of clips, around 34 total, but only about five of those were immediately usable for publishing. That means you'll spend more time digging through the generated options to find something truly published ready. The start and stop points it chose were often abrupt or completely missing the necessary context. The UI was certainly fast and it provided timestamps and an easy way to pick templates before editing began. However, it's missing that true text-based editor, leaning instead on a more simple scrub and trim workflow. This made my editing process significantly less efficient when compared to Vizard or Opus. The bottom line is, if you are on a tight budget, 
this is the one I would definitely try first to experiment with the concept. You will spend more time searching for good clips, but at least you won't be paying any money to experiment with the workflow. Munch is another popular option I looked at, and it had some interesting ideas, especially around metadata filtering. It produced about 30 clips in my test, and I managed to find maybe four that were actually usable without major work. I actually liked that Munch tries to help you filter snippets by platform suitability or keywords mentioned. It attempts to highlight trending keywords right from your content, which sounds cool in theory for discoverability. For my workflow though, I plan my topics ahead of time and didn't find the keyword suggestions all that relevant to the audience I target. On top of that, I frequently ran into frustrating UI glitches and notably slow loading times. So Munch has promise, especially for scale-focused workflows or agencies that want tons of filtering options, but it didn't win me over. Then there were a couple of tools I simply wouldn't recommend based on my thorough testing. Chopcast and Choidy. Both of these had really confusing interfaces and consistently produced low quality clips with weird start and stop points. In one instance with Chopcast, it gave me 10 clips and zero of them were actually usable right out of the gate. The timeline UI on that one felt particularly unintuitive and it was too easy to accidentally jump between different project files. Choidy was marginally better on the initial clip quality, but it was still sluggish and prone to annoying glitches. If you're currently evaluating these kinds of tools, I would strongly suggest skipping these two for now as they just cost time. So. Where did all this extensive testing actually leave me at the end of the process? Vizard remains my definitive pick for the best AI repurposing tool based on my comprehensive testing period. It was the most fun to use, the easiest one to learn quickly, and it produced the highest percentage of genuinely ready to post snippets. That focus on usable output is what ultimately matters most when you need content fast. That said, let's be real. None of these AI platforms perfectly replace a thoughtful, skilled human editor. They are all optimized to find one single punchy moment in a long recording and make a short clip out of it but they often miss the crucial little context pieces that actually make a snippet land perfectly with an audience. Here's the reality check. AI is fantastic at finding potential clips, but only humans can truly craft them into something great. The AI might pull a great sentence, but a human editor knows how to pair that sentence with the right lead-in and the perfect cutaway. They add the necessary graphic cues and the vital narrative glue that makes the final snippet feel polished and complete. In my entire test, all the tools missed some of the truly golden moments that I, or a skilled editor, would have immediately pulled out. So, if you care about high quality and maintaining your unique brand voice, keep a real editor involved. Use AI primarily to speed up the initial selection process and schedule the bulk publishing. But always keep the final creative choices firmly human-led for the best possible results. If you need someone to handle repurposing reliably and with consistent speed, consider dedicated human editing services like Video Husky. They've improved massively over the last few years and are great for ongoing high-volume editing needs. These services can effectively work hand-in-hand -hand with your AI tools to scale up without sacrificing any quality whatsoever. For teams leaning into automation, use Vizard to auto-edit those viral clip candidates. Then, take advantage of auto-schedule features so the content actually gets posted on a consistent cadence. You set the frequency and the system cues and posts the content for you without daily intervention. Managing everything within one content calendar allows you to tweak and approve clips right before they go live. That three-part combo of clipping, scheduling, and a calendar is where Vizard helped me build the most effective workflow. So final thoughts, if you want a quick, cheap experiment, go try that free tool that lets you export without a watermark. If you want to move fast without too much editing fuss, Opus offers a very solid middle ground. But if you want the absolute best mix of usable output, editor ergonomics, and brand control, Vizard is the one I would choose right now. And whatever platform you choose, please do not blindly hand your entire content channel over to an algorithm. Use the AI to drastically cut down the tedious slog of the initial cutting process. Then, ensure a human polishes the final storytelling and contextual delivery. If you have any questions about these tools or need help designing a hybrid AI human workflow, just drop a comment below. I will absolutely try my best to read through and help you figure out your best path forward. And remember this one final crucial thought. It's tempting to pump out more content because it's easy, but more rarely builds a better audience. Make fewer, higher quality posts that genuinely help and serve your viewers. That strategy is how you build real reach, not just meaningless noise. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.